Hey, Woodlanders. Got to carry seven panels and seven posts up here. But this is the job. So we've got this old fence look dilapidated, and then as we turn them just here, back of these tin sheets, to that post there. We'll get the rest of the panels and the rest of the posts. of stamina and endurance I can honestly say that's made me warm up so beautiful spot but logistically a challenge anyway I'm gonna get some tools about there somewhere it's not bad that there's that man trap Bit of a tricky corner this one. We'll get this one in. Absolutely stunning little garden, sort of a wildflower meadow under trees. And anyway, done the panels. What do you reckon? That looks absolutely spot on, doesn't it? That? Well happy with that. Or even I don't know if you can see the twilly hole up there. Look, up in the corner, somewhere there. That's for the badger. Apparently, it was seen the other night again, back round the back door. It's good, isn't it? Morning. As you can see, 
can gather today we are making more panels. Stan has gone in for its radiator change. Today is just about making panels, assembling more panels, more assembling. I'll just show you this. Our laburnum's come out, so it's quite a nice tree. Um, I believe the seeds are poisonous, so don't eat them. And the new framework for the loganberry is, I've just got to attach the loganberry a little bit better. If I get a chance today, get these panels made, then I might be able to do a little bit in the garden as well. Apparently the radiator is being fixed in the garage. Morning. Let's get you out of the rain. Uh, the van is alive, which is great news. A uh, new radiator. Not too expensive, I suppose, in the big scheme of things. It saved me a day of having to mess about trying to do it, and then I'm still going to get it wrong, and then I'm going to have to another, another day off work to try and get it fixed. And today is weaving these. I don't suppose you want to watch weaving all over again. Mm, I didn't think so. We've got to try and get these done this week, if I can. Today, I think the forecast rain all day. We have been desperately in need of rain, actually. It's, um, we've been very dry. I'm gonna get out of the rain, actually, because I'm getting wet here. It's all good. I might even get the charcoal burning to go in. Ouch, I'm just stuck in my foot. Ah, that's better. Can't beat the fire on a wet day. Our first 9 by 3 done. Put my wet gloves on top of the retort to stop them because they were sopping wet from making these panels in the rain. I could smell them melting. <laughs> Put them down, boy. It stopped a minute ago. And it was just starting to dry up. Now look at it. It's like a monsoon. My guttering system isn't working ever so well. Because on days like today, I'm so glad I built my little barn. That's not cricket, is it, that? Number 
number three. And the uh, second barrel of charcoal is actually gassing as well. I've got two full barrels done. And I suppose if I've got a bit more time, I could empty one of these, reload it, put more, put that last bit of uh, brash in there, and get a third one of it. Mm. Morning. Welcome to more woodland paradise. I had a chat with a, a lad called Michael Foster. He's a, a guy who has charcoal off and runs um, Rub Me Tender Kitchen over in Litchfield. Absolutely amazing food if you ever over in Litchfield. And he says, get yourself a Weber kettle. And so I've been looking and looking. And originally I wanted a Kamado, which is a, a clay oven. Then Michael says, no, you, you want a Weber. He said, there's another one called the Napoleon. He says it's equally as good. And then I found something called the Webo, it's a Webo. <laughs> uh, the Weber Go Anywhere. It's a little square, portable, fold-up barbecue by Weber. And um, it got some cracking reviews on Tinternet. I went and ordered one. I did an experiment last weekend with my old Brinkman, which is like looks like an R2D2 kind of smoker barbecue, and uh, I did an experiment based on what Michael had said. And this research I'd done on the internet, and what I did is uh, you get two um, sort of grill plates with it, you know, like the wire things, and I put this little tray, but it's like a little almost like a little bread tin, stabbed a little holes in it, and I fill that up and I get that going. Because you could put, I could put the food over the top of the coals to get it really nice and cooking well. And then, if it was starting to sear at any point, you could just move it away. And because you've got the lid as well, you get, and and honestly, it's probably one of the best regulated barbecues I've ever had at home. You know what? This is definitely the way to go. And that's why I ordered the Go Outdoors Weber barbecue. I'm going to stage a comparison test between the charcoal that we produce. Um, a supposed high quality charcoal that you'll get and then maybe something like them briquettes things you get them compressed coal things anyway that's to come I've been, I've been interested in doing that for a couple three years and the rest of the day then is when I'm looking woodland paradise the rest of the day is making these frames And that's the last one done. <clears throat> ah, glad about that. I managed to get it done before home time as well. So what time is it now? Look, it's ten to four. That's pretty good. 
Got to go and get 40 bean poles ready now. <clears throat> Let's do that next. concludes another woodlog thanks guys for watching us again this week if you want to join all the other woodlanders that are following us by all means comment like subscribe and all that share thing and everything else you want to do anyway yeah do appreciate it and if you're able to try and get out and enjoy the woodland again this week see you on the next one